So today I had this problem that was just bugging the heck out of me and I really needed to fix this problem. So I have several different web browsers installed on my system. One of the ones that I really like to use is Cute Browser, but there is one thing that just bugs the hell out of me using Cute Browser and that is the mouse scroll wheel. The scroll speed on the mouse is incredibly slow and I actually like using the mouse wheel to move up and down the page in my web browsers and in every other web browser that I use whether it be Firefox and the various Firefox based web browsers or all the other Chromium based web browsers the mouse scroll wheel speed is just fine it's exactly what you would expect in those browsers but in Cute Browser it's incredibly slow it's frustratingly slow to the point I can't even really use the mouse wheel inside Cute Browser I was like there's got to be a way to speed up that scroll speed and just looking around, digging through the Arch Wiki, I found this fantastic little program that I actually did not know about called IM Wheel. Because to be honest, I've never really found a program that actually made me think, man, I need to fix the scroll wheel speed other than Cute Browser, which, you know, is probably why I've never heard of this program. But today I was like, you know what, this is a problem. I'm going to fix it. And thankfully, the Arch Wiki suggested IM Wheel, which is a tool to tweak your mouse wheel behavior on a per program basis. That's very important. It's not global for all of your applications. You said it per application so I can have different mouse scroll speeds for Cute Browser or for my terminal Alacrity or for my graphical file manager PC Man FM. You know, I can change the speeds to exactly what I want in those particular programs. Let me go to my desktop just quickly here and I'm going to launch Cute Browser so you guys can see the scroll speed I'm talking about. Let me go to uh, my website here and I'm going to scroll down with the mouse wheel. Now I'm scrolling as fast as I can and that is a very 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 slow mouse scroll let me scroll up and i am hitting it with my hand as hard as i can and it's just it's so bad so i need to speed that up and reading a little bit on the arch wiki page for im wheel it's very very easy if you follow the instructions exactly on the arch wiki page which is exactly what i did this thing really is dead simple to get up and running all you need to do is open a terminal let me zoom in here so you guys can see this and with sudo pacman you know just sudo pacman dash capital s i m wheel it is in the standard arch repositories and i've already got it installed it doesn't hurt for me to reinstall it and then once you have i m wheel installed what you need to do is you need to create a config file so I'll do this in Vim but it needs to be dot im wheel rc and that needs to be in your home directory I know people are going to complain about it having a config file in the home directory that's just tough luck I don't think you can really do anything about that but I've already got so many other config files that have to be in the home directory I'm past the point of carrying anymore the syntax for this is pretty easy. You have this expression here, which can be a regex expression, but typically you're just naming a single program, like I'm naming Cute Browser here, and this is the Window Manager class name. So you do need to use a tool like Xprop to get the Window Manager class name. For example, if I launch Cute Browser again. So here is Cute Browser, and let me quit out of Vim here, and I'm going to run Xprop. This is a little tool that will help us get the window manager class name. You see my cursor is now at X. I'm going to click on the cute browser window and Xprop gives us window manager class and the class is in fact cute browser, all lowercase. So if I get back into Vim now, you can see that's why I have uh, the double quote caret symbol and then cute browser and then at the end dollar symbol end quote. And then the syntax here, none, up, button four, and then four. All you need to know here is that if you're doing strictly the mouse wheel by itself without a key binding involved, so not control and the mouse wheel up and down, not shift and the mouse wheel up and down. If you're just doing the mouse wheel by itself, then the format is none, up, button four for up, none, down, button five for down, and then the ending numbers are the speed. I set it to four, which seems like a pretty normal speed for a web browser scroll speed. I also played around with PC Man FM playing uh, with the speed in it, although the speed in PC Man FM is fine. I just wanted to prove that it could be used in uh, multiple programs. Anyway, let me quit out of that. Once you have your IM Wheel RC set up, then what you need to do is actually 
start the IM wheel service. It actually runs in the background, but what I want to do, I don't want to always have to start it every time I want to use Cube Browser. So if you go back to the Arch Wiki page, they actually suggest starting it as a service with systemd. So create a systemd service that will automatically start, you know, every time you boot into your computer. That way you never have to worry about starting and stopping IM wheel. And the path is right here. It needs to be in your home directory slash dot config slash systemd slash user slash imwheel dot service. That particular directory, by the way, dot config slash systemd slash user is typically where you want your personal systemd services. You know, it, these are not services that are necessarily going to be used by every user. Also, because they're your personal services, they're owned by your user. You don't have to start and stop them using sudo. <laughs> you can just run systemctl, for example, start and stop without needing sudo privileges for that. So what I did is I just copied their, their service file here. And then what I did is get back into Vim and then copy the path at dot config slash systemd slash user slash I am wheel dot service and there is that and then you know you write and quit and then you've created the systemd service now you need to enable it and then start it so they give you the command the exact commands to run here in the arch wiki system ctl dash dash user daemon dash reload to restart all your daemons system ctl dash dash user enable dash dash now I am wheel that actually starts I am wheel running and then that's it. Uh, once I am wheel is started, now I don't actually have it running right now on my system because I wanted you guys to see it not running so you could see that insanely slow speed here in Cute Browser. Remember the insanely slow mouse wheel speed? Well, let me start I am wheel here. So let me go ahead and systemctl dash dash user start I am wheel. And it's giving me a warning. It says the unit file, source configuration file, yada, yada, yada. I needed to run the uh, daemon reload first. So let's go ahead. I've got it here in my history. Systemctl dash dash user daemon reload first. And then start IEM wheel. And now watch what happens with my mouse wheel scroll speed. That is nice. Much better. Maybe a little faster than things like Brave and LibreWolf, but I'm okay with it. That That's a more normal kind of scroll speed for the mouse, and, and that really solved a real need that I had. And I know a lot of you guys are trying out Cute Browser, and chances are, if you're a mouse wheel scroller like I am, you probably hate that really slow speed. And again, I am wheel is not just for Cute Browser. I mean, you can use it for any program you want and there are some examples of stuff you can do in here for example if let me zoom in here in the browser they give an example for changing the scrolling speed in the chromium browser and then you have these lines none up button four so that's for the up mouse scroll and then none down button five that's for the down mouse scroll and the next lines are shift l that's your left shift key up shift l button four so this is changing the speed when you do shift and then the mouse scroll wheel they also have control and button four button five so that's control and the mouse scroll wheel up and down so you can actually set rules for all of that and you can see they set just the mouse wheel to have the speed of four, shift and the mouse wheel to have the speed of four, but control and the mouse wheel, they actually didn't add a speed at the end of the lines. It's because they want those to be unchanged because these are more normal kind of mouse wheel functions, but control and mouse up and down, I think is uh, zooming in and out, I think in Chromium, and they didn't want to affect that speed. So they're specifying don't change the speed of control plus mouse wheel up and down. And I hope that makes sense. There actually is a pretty extensive I am wheel man page. If you do a man, I am wheel. But to be honest, you'll probably get overwhelmed reading the man page. This Arch Wiki page is very short and to the point. And it really, for what most people are going to want to do with I am wheel, it'll solve all your problems. Now, before I go, I want to thank a few special people. I want to thank Absy, Dallas, Gabe, Lou, Mitchell, Alan, Akami, Arch 530, Chuck, David, the other David, Dylan, Gregory, Lewis, Paul, Scott, Wes, and Willie. These guys, they are the producers of this episode. They are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this short little video about I Am Wheel would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because this show is sponsored by you guys, the community. I'd like your support. Look for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.